This is Herman Brooks. Herman is just like the rest of us. Every day, he has to make all kinds of decisions. Like what to wear, whom to date, and when to panic. Now, these decisions should be easy. But if you take a look inside Herman's head, you'll see why he sometimes has trouble making up his mind. I'm Herman's intellect. Without me, he couldn't hold his job, pay his rent, or tie his shoes. I'm Herman's sensitivity. Without me, he wouldn't feel tenderness, honesty, or love. The good things in life. I'm Herman's anxiety, and I keep him out of trouble. And believe me, there's trouble everywhere. I'm Herman's lust. Without me, he'd miss out on all the good stuff. You know, fun, food, babes. Sometimes they agree. Usually they don't. But this struggle is going on inside all of us. And it's all going on inside Herman's head. Louise, put that stupid book away. Wait, I'm almost finished. Your birthday is November 28th, and your card is the Jackal. Now, let me consult the ancient book of Ruba. Why do you believe in that superstitious garbage? Oh, no. What is it now? The ancient book of Ruba says the telephone will bring you disaster. Dare I answer it? Dare I challenge the all-powerful book of Ruba? Research, please hold. No disaster here, Louise. <laughs> Stop that maniacal laughing. Hetty, what happened? Nothing, sir. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, I'll call maintenance. Morning, Herman. Morning, sir. How are you? I'm exhausted. I'm tired, and I'm worn out. Hi. Susan. I know you're not big on public displays of affection, but I gotta do this. No wonder he's exhausted. The man's having an affair. <laughs> she has a lovely ethereal quality for a slut. Stand back, everybody. I'm in a picture naked. Okay, come on. Work with me, baby. Oh, yeah. Work with me. Oh, a little pout. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Susan, please. I'm at work. Oh, you're such an old fogey. Isn't he an old fogey? He sure is. <laughs> what, what I meant was he... he... No need to panic, Herman. I want you to meet my daughter, Susan Herman. Nice to meet you. You too. God, it's good to see you. Oh, Susan, please. Excuse us, Herman. Hi. I just want you to know that I think your father is one of the kindest, sweetest, and most generous people that I have ever met. My father? Oh, my God. What's the matter? All this time I thought you were my father. Really lovely. You're telling me my naked pictures just came back. <laughs> How dare you sully her image and debase our feelings for her? What has gotten into her? Forget her. I had a two for one coupon. <laughs> taking this seriously. Of course, I'm not. Nobody takes this stuff seriously. Oh, is that the Book of Ruba? No, this is the ancient Book of Ruba. <laughs> you know, I do readings, and I'd be happy to give hey. you... Give me the book, Louise. I can't believe. I believe. Okay, now give me the book. Please give me a card. Wait, look. I'm the weasel. <laughs> Wait. Okay, Herman, your turn. And the Ruba says you should avoid making love where cattle have walked in the past three days. I wish you would have told me that an hour ago. Have well, fun if you will, but remember, he who laughs at the Ruba sits alone and buys the drink. Hi. Susan. Herman, right? Yes. Yes, would you care to join me? Thanks. I'm waiting for my father. Now that I'm back, we have a lot of catching up to do. Well, where have you been? I've just come off a six-month tour. I'm a ballet dancer. Oh, I love the ballet. I know them all. Let's see, there's uh, Swan Lake, mm -hmm. and that's about it. Carry on. <laughs> Hi. Would you like your fortune read? There's nothing in this world I can't divine. How about an affordable apartment in New York? 
I'm good. I'm not that good. Actually, there's a small place available in my building. Really? Mm -hmm. Don't get too comfortable. We have a train to catch. You look so cute. Why did you get your be so cute? Susan, I'm an old man. You're breaking my neck. Now, let's go. Sorry. Herman and I are going to have a drink, and then he's going to show me his apartment. Oh, there's one for rent in his building. You could see it tomorrow. Don't worry. I'll be home early. I liked it better when you were younger and I could yell and threaten you. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> but I can yell and threaten you, Herman. Make sure she gets on that 8 o'clock train. She's as good as home. <laughs> so, how about that drink? Sweet. Great legs. Loving. Good boobs. <laughs> kind. Nice ass. I like her. <laughs> Too flighty. Horses daughter. Unstable. Horses daughter. Impulsive. Horses daughter. I, I don't, don't like her. Here's the moving back to New York. Mm. Patty, what happened? I had an accident. An accident, huh? And it had nothing to do with your stupid telephone curse. I was in a cab. A telephone repairman fell off a telephone pole. We swerved to miss him, and we hit a telephone booth. It was a coincidence, okay? Eddie, hey, are you all right? Fine, sir. Just a little accident. Well, why don't you take it easy today? Don't do any computer work. Just answer the phone. Thank you, sir. Herman. How long did it take to look at that apartment? My daughter didn't get home until 11. We went for some coffee afterwards. Coffee? Mm -hmm. Hi, Dad. Susan. Hi. Hi. I have a bunch of stuff to do today, but I should be done by 6. How about a movie tonight? She wants to see us again. We're in. We're in. I think we better nip this in the bud. Shut up, you little twit. <laughs> I will see her if I want to. Nope, sorry, no can do. Nix, uh-uh, negative, no chance, no way, and impossible. The movie sounds great. <laughs> I'll see you at lunch. I don't like it, Herman. I don't either, sir. Do you even know what I'm talking about? No, sir, I just figured this was a pretty good time to agree with you no matter what. <laughs> She's my daughter, Herman. I want you to keep that in mind all evening. And if the subject of sex comes up, you think about me. Not my first choice, sir, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> You're gonna miss the lake train to Long Island and your father's gonna kill me. I'll go in a minute. First, you promised to show me some of the things you've written. Okay. okay. These are some short stories and even some poems. When I get melancholy, I write poems. Hmm. I write a lot of poems. <laughs> the Boy Who Couldn't Dream. It's a, a love poem. The little boy cried wet-eyed from the darkness of his sleep, no place to hide. To dream it takes love. To break free and soar high, but love is not easy for love. You must fly. Okay, so it's not the cat in the hat. <laughs> it's beautiful. No, don't go thinking that I'm a wuss. Well, just the other day, I spent half an hour spitting out the window. <laughs> you spit. Do you dance? I'm really not a great dancer. You just put your arms around me. And I'll follow you. Just hold me close. And let me know what you want me to do. Let me know what you want me to do? Okay. I feel so strange. I'm... I'm... Hey, fellas, looks like we got a problem on our hands. I love to dance. And why are you leaving ballet? Well, I've been on tour since I was 18. I think it's time to settle down and have a place of my own. A bed of my own. A man of my own. You are a handsome and charming man. You know that? And a great dancer. And a great dancer. I have to go home tonight. And thank you for the movie, dinner, the dance, and the boy who couldn't train.
Good night. Now we're in trouble. Look, you gotta help me, Louise. She really believes in this stuff. Who? Oh. The woman I met in the bar. Before she goes out with me, she insists that I have a reading with you. And a blood test. Okay. According to Naruba, she is the woman for you. Yes. And you are entering a period of celibacy. No. But it's only a short period. Yes. Five years. No. But there's a way around it. Yes. You have to sleep with a chicken. Yes. Where are you going, Jack? Don't ask. Herman, I want to know what's going on between you and my daughter. You've been seeing her every night this week. I just like her, that's all. She's an emotional girl. She always was. I think she's a little more stable and mature than you might think. Pony ride! Please, please get off, Herman. Uh, I just came by to tell you I have tickets to the ballet tonight. And Herman and I are going. Don't let him give you a hard time. Pick you up the six. Bye. Let me guess. Herman, can I see you in my office? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sit down. Let me tell you a story, Herman. I was in Vietnam in 1966. One night, out on patrol, I got ambushed by North Vietnamese regular. It was hand-to-hand -hand combat. I was fighting for my life. I had a bayonet in me, and I was losing blood. I thought it was all over. Somehow, I got the upper hand. I had my knife pressed against his throat. Now, I knew this man hated me and wanted to see me dead. But I didn't kill him. You know why, Herman? No, sir, why? Even though he was the enemy, he wasn't dating my daughter. <laughs> Food for thought, sir. What I'm trying to say is I'm a little concerned. I see. No, you don't see. You're too young, too emotional, too harmonious. Look, with all due respect, I work with you every day, but I don't ask you what I should do or who I should go out with when the clock strikes six, and I'm not about to start now. Excuse me. I can't believe we just said that. I don't like to be bullied. If Angel wants to see this girl, well, then I'm all for it. Thank you. No sweat. That's what I'm here for. Good thing for you, I want her so bad my hair hurts. <laughs> Wasn't that ballet beautiful? Yeah, there was no ice capades, but it was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you miss it, huh? Of course I miss it. That's okay. It's time for change. Why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. Come on, tell me what's on your mind. You. Me? You are in my thoughts all day and all night. What are you saying, honey? Do you think we could be falling in, you know... Is, you know, so hard for you to say? I don't say, you know, every day. We'll give it a try, Herman. Please, no don't way, say it! No, 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 no. Listen, say it, let her say it! Do you realize what that means? It means commitment, responsibility. It means sleeping with only one woman. <laughs> don't say it! <laughs> And I think I love you. And I think I love you, too. What's the matter? Your father. What about him? I don't think he likes me. So don't go out with him. <laughs> what do you mean he doesn't like me as a person? He doesn't like me as a person who's seeing his daughter. Why not? Well, because I work with him because he's my boss and and what ah it's not like it's a big secret what's a big secret that you're black and i'm white you're white oh my god susan i'm serious okay so you're white and you're serious i'm not just white i am whiter than white i am clorox white <laughs> look look at this look at this vanilla is it plain Vanilla, and I like it. <laughs> See, white bread. Okay, it's 
blue now, but it was white. <laughs> the point is, I am white. And that bothers your father. It, trust me, this is not okay with him. It doesn't have to be okay with him. It has to be okay with us. Look in your heart. If it really is a problem, then tell me. There are other things to consider. We have family, too. What about them? Children, society. Angel, have you forgotten? It's so easy to fall in love. It's the climbing out that's a bitch. I only know I can't take my eyes off you. I cannot breathe when you're around. Look. I know my father's a pill. But maybe he'll surprise us. And we'll go to him and say, Daddy, we're in love. And he'll say, Are you out of your mind? <laughs> have you figured out what to tell the folks yet, Herman? Well, fine. They always say we have the most boring family picnics. This interracial thing ought to give them something to talk about after the three-legged race. <laughs> if you're looking for a big argument for me, you can forget it. You want Herman? You got him. That's it? That's all you're going to say? I'm old and I'm tired of arguing with you, Susan. You are stubborn and hard-headed. God only knows where she gets it. <laughs> Do you know the problems the two of you are going to face out there? Come on, Herman. You can't talk to him. He always has all the answers. Susan, wait. Mr. Bracken, she's your daughter. You can't just let her walk out like this. Why not? She always does. She can't see. I only want the best for her. I always have. The best for me or the best for you? I was there when you were born, Susan. I watched you twist and scream your way into this world. I knew I loved a lot of things. Your mother, my parents, Ray Charles. But I never loved anything so much in all my life as I loved you. Forgive me. You're my baby. And I've always seen you that way. I have grown up, Daddy. It's time to let go. Your father like Ray Charles, Herman? Next to Pat Boone and Andy Williams, he's a big favorite. <laughs> well, things considered, that went pretty well. Good night. Right. Mm -hmm. news. I talked to the landlord. He says the apartment will be available in two weeks. Good. Surprise tonight. I cook lasagna. Mm. It may not look like lasagna, but it sure smells like lasagna. Well, it may not smell like lasagna, but it sure tastes like lasagna. Mm. Mm. It may not taste like lasagna, but it sure goes in the garbage like lasagna. <laughs> Let's eat up. I'm not really hungry. Want a bad day job, honey? Actually, I was offered a job today. Terrific! Why the long face? It's with a ballet company. That's great! It's a tour. Tour? I thought you didn't want a tour anymore. I thought so too, but when I started looking for work, I realized I can't take just any job. I'm a dancer. That's what I do. How long is the tour? One year. Well, maybe I can see you on weekends. Where are you going? Japan. Oh, no, it's the breakup speech. <laughs> Aren't you going to say anything? I'm a little stunned. What do you want me to say? I want you to say don't go. I can't do that. You'd hate me in a week. But I need to know that you don't want me to leave. I don't want you to leave. Susan, I just found you. So what do we do? I'll write you and you'll write me and after a year we're still writing each other. I'll meet you for a dance at my place. And the ascent out of the Grand Canyon of Love begins. <laughs> I'm going to miss you so. Hattie, what happened to your arm? Don't ask. It had nothing to do with your stupid book of Ruba. i got to talk to you, Louise. 
Well, did you sleep with the chicken? No, I didn't sleep with the chicken, but this woman is such a believer in the book of Ruba, I had to tell her I slept with a chicken or she wouldn't sleep with me. Now she won't sleep with me. Why? Because she thinks I slept with a chicken. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Louise. What you doing, Eddie? Nothing, never mind. Just go away, Louise. Okay, got it. Bakumba, Yuruma, Malaku. That, so much for your curse. Hello? Yes, Miss Newman, could you hold on a second, please? Okay, so where were we? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are you sure that's all? Great. Well, I'm glad that's over. Hey, Hetty, where are you going? Can't talk now. My apartment building's on fire. <laughs> Mr. Brackett in, Louise? Yeah, and he wants to see you. And sure. You wanted to see me, sir? I spoke to Susan this morning. You must be pretty happy right now. Not really. I must admit that when I thought of the man that was still my daughter's heart, I pictured him a little differently than you. In what way? Oh, a little richer, a little darker. <laughs> but you're a poor, honest, white man, Herman, and to tell you the truth, I like you. Thank you, I think. <laughs> I guess I knew in my heart she would leave. She always does. I think that's part of the reason I love her so much. She's easy to love. Well, welcome to the family, Herman. She's leaving us both. Hey, how about a cup of coffee, Pop? You buying? Kidding? Will you pay me? <laughs> Spend Thanksgiving with the Simpsons, Drexel's class, and the gang from 90210. And this Friday, while you're recouping from the holidays, tune into Fox for four comedies in a row, beginning with the Simpsons, and followed by Charlie Hoover in Living Color and Herman's Head. Thank goodness it's Fox this Friday. Now stay tuned for the Paul Rodriguez special next.